What's up everybody, this is Harry, and I wanted to show you all a dome model that I made out of clay of what I'm imagining my uh, future home to look like. So the dome will be 40 feet in diameter, 22 feet tall. These archways uh, was an inspiration from Dome Gaia. Uh, Hajar designed these archways to stick out from the dome to allow you to use the flat space here for putting in square doors or square windows. So I also envision these as sticking out a lot further and creating individual rooms uh, all the way around the dome. But for this model for now, this was a, a great design that I wanted to incorporate. The next inspiration came from the uh, spaceport that was built and the firehouse at that spaceport is it's a dome building and they have this eyelash design and um, I thought it was a really cool looking design and so I incorporated two of these in this dome this one here which is uh, 12 feet wide and a 8 foot wide one on the other side here so this here would actually represent the front of the house this would be the entry, uh, designed this to be eight feet uh, out from the main dome and around eight feet wide. And so this would be an entryway where I imagine a coat closet or maybe a bench. You could sit down, take your shoes off before you enter into the main house. Um, so I have uh, four of these archways all the way around and they're just for the windows. And so, again, the whole reason I was working on this dome here was so that I can build my home that looks like that model. Anyway, I'm gonna be taking this down soon um, with this. I'll be using that sledgehammer. This was always meant to be temporary I didn't get to finish it the way I imagined finishing it, but when I thought about the cost of finishing this just to knock it down, um, I figured I would stop where I was here because um, it pretty much proved my concept that using two forms, uh, I can trap the aircrete up against the main structural dome and um, create my insulation and it was really also for speed of construction instead of cementing uh, blocks all the way around I could just create the air crate and pour it in and it's a lot faster construction and um, the idea works but I'll be knocking this down but I have some other experiments to do because when I created this I didn't reinforce it the way I imagine reinforcing the future dome and by that reinforcement i mean the helix micro rebar the helix micro rebar is this uh, product that's pretty new they've been around for years but uh it's new to me i've never heard of it until recently so um i will be doing some experiments with that because the helix micro rebar was meant to be used in concrete i did an experiment with the aircrete uh with a certain uh six pound mix and it didn't work well with that. So I had to try a lower uh, foam. Instead of six pounds of foam, I'll be trying uh, two pounds of foam and mixing the Helix Micro Rebar and see how much uh, tensile strength it gives the aircrete. But the aircrete in itself being porous is not the best for holding on to the, air, uh, to the Micro Rebar. So another experiment is gonna be, um, I'm gonna make a regular cement slab uh, one with basalt fiber chop as a reinforcer and the other will have the helix micro rebar and then I'll compare the two uh, strength wise you know by breaking with a sledgehammer uh, and seeing how much stronger the helix micro rebar is opposed to the basalt fiber chop anyway that's uh, that's coming up next and um, that's it for now Catch you guys later. Peace.